Hello everybody. I'm happy to show you some old data. This is what I shot prior to a ball joint a doll meet. It was for St. Patrick's Day, but ironically, I didn't plan on him wearing green. That was just kind of thrown in there as an extra flare to hold the hoodie in place. If you can't tell, that's a hoodie that's actually meant for an SD body, um, but it seems to fit, you know, an okay style on MSD. After the meet, I drove home a long, long three hours home. That field on the right is actually what's left of a winter storm that we had about four or so years back. It's a very windy road as you get to the end of it, but it actually is a quite calming and peaceful drive. I don't mind it in the least. I could probably do it in my sleep. Ah, uh, yes, and on the right there is Baby Island. It's a wonderful bay to live on. However, the weather wasn't that great driving over. I drove through tons and tons of rain and hail. I figured it'd be best only to show you the parts that actually, you know, became clear and sunny. Well, you know, bright to see outside the car. Uh, the hula man, he's kind of super glued to the car. He came with the car. Alright, so the tabby cat is Buddy, and the gray cat behind him is my cat, Sky. Buddy is an old man, and he doesn't understand that his hips, or rather his knees, are old. He's about nine or so years old. He's very sweet, but he's a demon when he wants to be able to go outside. I thought this was funny. Sky was stalking up behind him. They normally don't fight. In fact, it's kind of a friendly little play fights that they do. But they both enjoy being able to go outside. He's very handsome. Sky is one of my favorite cats. Buddy is very handsome too in his own right. Uh, the injury you see on his ear is actually from a fight he got into prior to my visit. But it was all healing up when I came to see him. I like to shoot videos of my pets. This is my cat Zany. Z A M Y. Zany. Not Zany, like crazy. Although, I'm sure you could have your doubts if you ever hear her meow. She has a very high pitched, squeaky meow. She also doesn't know how to jump. She tends to pull herself up from her front paws and doesn't really use the strength in her back legs until she really needs to. There are several times when she's had issues trying to jump on my bed, and she is constantly requesting our assistance to get her onto the table where the cat food is. Even though there are chairs out and it's perfectly able for her to get on there, she's old as well. Buddy and Zamy dislike each other. But since we switched into this new cat food, Zamy has lost a significant amount of weight. She used to be a lot heavier and a lot rounder. Since losing the weight, she's also shown that she's lost more hair. The deaf puppy bouncing around her is our dog, Falcor. I believe you were introduced to her from a video of her chasing the leash for about 10 minutes. She still does that. And her apparently recent favorite game, she was going crazy for this thing under the oven. So I took a look down there and apparently it was one of my mom's vitamin lids. A pretty wide one. And the Falcor has this odd tendency to try and make me play with her. I think she's awake 20 hours a day and sleeps four. I'm exaggerating, she actually does sleep more than that, but she really does love to play and she plays hard. My mom's recently somehow trained a deaf dog not to bark at us anymore. She has a very high pitched yip. It's very painful to the ears to listen to. Falcor made me sit here, or stand here, and play hockey with her for about 10 minutes. I only videotaped about 7 of it. I gave up and just decided to keep kicking it to her. I also changed positions later on and stood in front of the oven, so she would stop putting the cap in front of the oven. It's very hard to see, but this is Buddy lounging about. Our cat tree is very popular. 
and some ledges are more popular than others. The bottom is the most popular. The top was popular last year. As you can see, the bottom is very popular. Even Sky likes it. I think it's a good kickoff point for him to run to the door to get outside. He really likes to go outside, and he'll dash to get out there. He's also made it apparent that he will get out even without our help. He ripped the screen on my bedroom window and, well, he's able to get out now. Look at this little attention-hogging thing! Her front leg was broken by a previous owner, and, well, we're not sure how to get it fixed yet. She also has damage on her back hip. And despite all that, she has all this energy. I have no idea where she gets it from. She's a Chinese crested. Here's my standard poodle, Ollie Baba. He's very handsome, and he does so well. This is Sky's one of his favorite pastimes. Um, he's been doing this since... Since we lived in this house, I think. I don't remember him doing it at our previous house. Um, whenever we have a fresh water running, he has this habit of jumping uh, the counter to get some water. He would do it in the bathroom sink, but he became too fluffy and budgy for the bathroom sinks, so he's moved to the kitchen sink instead. And he will jump up there and let you know that he wants water. He doesn't meow very often, he just sits there, staring at you and kind of, you know, looks around and waits patiently for you to notice that he wants water. <laughs> he will drink it out of the fish pond outside, but I think he likes the fresh running water a bit better. He won't take it from a hose, though. That's too scary for him. This is a nice, you know, gentle trickle he doesn't mind. Buddy, he loves me. I'm always happy whenever I return home. He usually doesn't cuddle with me, but after I've been gone at school for about three or so months and I return home, Buddy is one of the cats that is always happy to see me. He cuddles with me. He pays attention to me. Okay, this is Jasmine. I can't get any, you know, good video of her because she doesn't really like me. Uh, she hides away in mom's bedroom. For those of you who don't know me, uh, and even people who do know me, February is my favorite month because daffodils are in bloom and they are absolutely my favorite flower. They're gorgeous. They have a beautiful bright yellow that I think is just wonderful to see between February, March, and April. As much as I love plum and cherry trees, I just think the daffodil's better because it's a yellow flower. How odd is that? I also like dandelions, too, because they're yellow. But I hate lavender. I wouldn't even burn it. I don't want it. Okay, this creeped me out. There were three deer suddenly standing out in the wetlands. And I was like, what the heck are these deer doing here? I'm not, I'm not a deer expert, but... um. I think these are all uh, female. There were actually four of them, as you uh, see later on. There's a fourth one. I honestly thought there were statues in a minute until I noticed their ears were flicking. It creeped me out. Um, this is one of the rare instances where um, it pays to have a deaf dog. Falker was asleep and she didn't um, notice them at all. And if she had woken up and started barking, we would have Ollie barking and the deer would have ran immediately. I'm sorry this is through the glass and it's kind of got this glare on it, but if I had moved anything, they might have, you know, stopped moving. They were intently watching me. They could tell I was watching them because uh, I had to stand up to record this. It was very interesting to watch them. They were just, you know, wandering around minding their own business. Perhaps they were sad that our neighbor d had cut down all those wonderful trees that were next door to our house. My mom calls me up about, yeah two months ago, maybe a month ago, and she's, maybe sooner than that, and she's in, like, disarray, anger, whining and complaining about how our 95-year-old man neighbor decided to cut down the property line trees, like, four or five of them, and they're, like, you know, 60 years old, and no sun hits there, and he chopped them down, all the way down to the stumps, and apparently he had waited, waited, until my car was gone because when my mom came home from work, there was all this heavy machinery in our driveway. <laughs> so my mom couldn't park. She had to go over there and ask him, when will you be done so I can park my car? Oh, he's very, 
he's very annoying. He used to come over and uh, mow our lawn, which, you know, we didn't mind particularly, but he stopped doing it when he put up the fence um, dividing our uh, Bayside properties because our poodle, Ollie, would go into his yard and poop. Dogs really like it where the grass is greener. These were so amusing to watch. I was trying to be so quiet. They just started slinking up the yard and I was wondering how close are they going to get to the house. Uh, I was kind of afraid because a sky was outside at the time. Buddy was sleeping somewhere inside. I think he was on the chair across from me. But I got even more afraid that, you know, Falcor might notice them as uh, they were moving. But she didn't. Well, she did um, later on, but it was really amazing. This is such a long video. I have so much footage. A lot of it is of my cats. I love videotaping my cats. They're very entertaining. But uh, I, I have to confess, nothing compares to playing hockey with a deaf puppy. <laughs> That's just the oddest thing. Nothing compares to that. Um, I shot this footage before March 28th, like the week before, because uh, it was spring break and I was home for that. So this is footage over a couple of days. Probably why I have so much of my cats, because I love them. You don't even get a glimmer of it, but Sky is somewhere out there on the carpet. There he is. Oh, little. He is down by the bushes somewhere, and then he sees the deer, and I don't think I have it in this clip, but he lays down by the fish pond on the carpet and uh, stretches out and relaxes. Don't ask me why we have carpet in our yard. It was my mom's crazy idea to kill the grass. Aw, buddy getting a sun bath. He's so cute. I miss my pets. That's my one downside to living at the dorms. I don't get to have a cat with me. Buddy would hate me. He is very adamant about letting you know when he wants to go outside. Um, for my mom, he'll pee on, you know, important documents. Okay, this is really funny. The Falcor has these little leather things, you can barely see it on Ollie's back there, that my mom made for her, and she refuses to get it off of Ollie's back. She knows that if she will, he will snap at her. So she sat there for like 10 minutes, starting to bark at me and howl at me, demanding that I get the leather for her. So I finally did, and I held up so I could get these really good shots of her. I was trying to test my camera because this is a pure white dog in a very light bathroom, uh, it's kitchen with sun hitting her, and I wanted to see, you know, how much of her fur and effects could I get, so I actually videotaped this poor, poor, I tortured her for like 10 minutes testing camera settings for lighting. Where does she get her energy from? I don't know. She, You can see that she starts to get relaxed and maybe give up and then, oh, the energy's back. Here's Ollie. His favorite pastime uh, in the last two or so years is he'll just lay on the porch or in the yard somewhere and just watch the bay, watch the what's going on. Every now and then he'll bark out the street side, but he never goes over there. When we first got him, and uh, in that year and a little bit afterwards of the following year, uh, he would go outside. She's not allowed outside without her leash, and I couldn't find her freaking collar. I found the leash, I couldn't find the collar, so. Buddy and Ollie are best friends. Ollie was dejected. <laughs> he laid on that sofa for like an entire day after I gave him a bath. So that's all I have for this update, but I will have more soon. Before SakuraCon, I should have more updates. Right now my bedroom looks like somebody threw up in it. And I mean that in terms of fabric and material everywhere. It's crazy.